Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and I know, a uh, really messy and really different looking video than normal, right? Uh, this is actually a game haul video that I just wanted to do, and I want to do this because this is like the most... The, this is like the most amount of stuff gaming related I have bought in a long time within a really, really small amount of time. Uh, this is all just right here you're seeing. This is all within like less than an hour and a half or something like that. And uh, at the same time, I'm still actually, while I'm recording this, I am waiting for my Metal Gear Solid 5 to come to the door. So uh, all that's going on. But anyways, one thing is I want to, want to do this video because this is essentially, you know, kind of a big uh, retro, older stuff thing that I gather with some newer stuff and clearance and everything. Uh, so I'm going to explain that. And because of that, there might also be a second part to this video that I'm going to just splice in here so it's one big long video. Now I know a lot of people aren't going to be interested in this video and that's fine. And a lot of people might say you're trying to experiment with other stuff, whatever it is, you're out of ideas. You know, actually I, I did these videos before. Before 99.5% of you all watched me, I had done a few videos like this, and people seemed to like them with a very, very limited fan base that I had at the time. Uh, so no, this is actually me kind of coming back to what I did before, uh, just with a nicer camera and, you know, a uh, more confident voice and all, I guess you could say. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is, you know, really showing you all what I got, because I'm, I'm really excited about this stuff, you all. So first off, let's go ahead and cover this stack right here, because this is all from one store, right? So there is a local video game shop in my town. And I'm I'm so disappointed because right now while I'm recording this it is September 2nd and uh, They're gonna be closing down on September 12th And when they close down that means we will no longer have a local video game shop in town uh, We have card game shops board game shops that we have shops that you can get video games at like Staples well not not Staples excuse me. Uh, we have a Hastings. We have Walmart Target GameStop, but there's no local video game shop so once this place leaves, like the only true video game shop you could go to, uh, the oldest stuff they'll have is like PlayStation 3, no, well, no, really like Nintendo DS and all that, which would be GameStop. So I, I hate seeing local businesses go at the same time. This is literally the only local video game shop we have. And right now, at right, I'm, right as I'm recording this, they were doing a bunch of sales and mainly they're doing like 30% off. So what I did was it was actually more stuff I wanted to get, but I just got this stuff here because there was nothing really I wanted to grab that just you know, just stood out to me. Uh, normally my thing is when stuff starts to go on sale, if there's stuff I have to have, uh, I will buy it right there. If there's stuff I can wait on, I normally wait until the last few days. So probably about one or two days before the shop closes, I'll go in there and I'll buy anything I even remotely want. Cause I'm sure by then they'll be doing like 75, 80% off. Uh, so this is what I got, you know, first off, Got this thing right here. Some people might be wondering, what the hell is this? Well, this is actually a memory unit or memory card for the Xbox 360. Some people might be saying, it, the Xbox 360s don't use memory cards. Yes, they do. The fat models do. They are completely stupid though, because I mean, look at this. This thing is, if you can see it, it's 256 megabytes. This is pretty much enough to store your profile and maybe a really small game and uh, some saves, and that was about it. Uh, but this is what we used before uh, memory, well, before you could use a flash drive or anything, and back when it took, you know, two hours to import your profile. I'm not even kidding. Like, my profile would take two or three hours to import. It was horrible. Uh, so I would just transfer it on something like this. So I end up picking this up. Uh, if I don't say the prices, by the way, there, there's a reason why. Uh, so I end up picking this up. Now, right here, I got Bleem as well. This thing is completely useless. I, I mostly got this stuff as, like, mementos and everything. Uh, the memory card right here I actually end up buying because uh, there's something I want to try out on it. I'm not going to say what it is. It's nothing big and I don't even know if it works. That's why I'm not really saying what it is, but if, if it works, cool. I'll make a video over it. If not, uh, I have some obscure, rare, uh, no longer being used uh, Xbox 360 merchandise, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, right here, Bleem. Bleem is pretty interesting, actually. So this thing came out in like 1998, 1999, right? It uses uh, Windows, so it uses Windows uh, 95, 98, and this is a PlayStation emulator that you could buy. Like, I'm not even kidding. You could go to the store, like Walmart or Target or something, and buy this and emulate a PlayStation on your computer. Now, it, that sounds kind of fishy, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and hold on, that's the UPS guy. All right, and if we want to cut into this, that is my copy of Metal Gear Solid 5, which I'm not going to be unboxing because I want to finish this video, and I'm going to have an unboxing of this anyways. Uh, but yeah, going back to Bleem here, so as I said, it might sound a little bit fishy, and Sony did not like that. I mean, this is when the PlayStation 1 was still relevant, so imagine it's like 2009, right? And all of a sudden, an Xbox 360 emulator called like 
the Circle 180 came out and you could just buy it for 50, 60 bucks in store and you could just put Xbox 360 games into your computer and you could play them. So people would say, oh, I don't need to buy an Xbox 360. I'll just buy this thing right here and I could buy all my 360 games and it's legal. Well, not really actually. What happened was the company Bleem got in trouble and I think what happened was they pretty much got sued into oblivion to the point where they just shut down. Uh, so this thing I don't even think is useful anymore and I have a better emulator on my phone for PS1 games. But uh, you know, I did want this before but I didn't really want to pay five bucks at the time so even though it's cheap enough but kind of a memento type thing. Uh, so I didn't get it. Uh, and then this right here, let's see if I can open it. Nope, I'm gonna have to open it from the other side and great, my phone goes off and everything. This right here is is the Halo Reach Collector's Edition. It's not the whole Legendary Edition because the Legendary Edition is some real big thing. Uh, but let's see, that's the game itself that comes in a black case instead of the green case. And then you have a bunch of other extra stuff that I really haven't looked at right now. Uh, but I got this because I'll be honest, I don't, I don't like Reach. Uh, Y'all know I like Halo. I don't like Reach. I, I hate Reach, actually. This is my least favorite Halo game. Uh, but I end up getting this just because I am still a Halo fan and any special editions I don't pick up, you know, when they come out. I like to pick up later when they're cheaper. Uh, so all this stuff right here, this is about 20 bucks. Uh, this was $25 and they took 30% off. This was a dollar and they took 30% off that. And then this right here, you all might be questioning, that's $10 right there, if you can see at all, if that loads up. There we go. Uh, that's $10. I didn't pay for this, actually. What happened was I almost bought this. And then I said, actually, this one's 99 cents, so I'm gonna get this one instead. And this one's a 64 megabyte memory card. So why do I have both of them? What happened was I paid 70 cents for this, and right before I left, the guy just looks at it. He, he's about to take it away, right? He takes it off the counter and he's like, hey man, I'm gonna throw this away, so uh, there, you can have it. And then I just took it, I was like, you know what, thank you, I'll go ahead and throw it away at home. And he laughed and I laughed and we got we had a good time. So uh, got those two memory cards right there. So we'll go ahead and move that to the side now. Here's the other interesting stuff, right? So there's a shop that uh, a friend of mine works at actually and I became friends with him just going to the shop for a while. And uh, here's some extra stuff I got. So I actually wasn't going to get another Xbox One controller. I needed another one. Well need, you don't need anything. I wanted another Xbox One controller because right now I actually have two Xbox Ones in my apartment and one controller. You all can see how annoying that gets. Um, first world problems though. What ended up happening was I went to his shop, he wasn't there at the time, and I saw this Xbox One controller. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, I just need to clean it up a tiny bit. And it comes with a microphone, which, headset, which looks like it's in pretty good condition as well. This is 22 bucks. And I said, you know what, I was just going to wait because I actually, spoiler alert, I am planning on getting the Xbox One Elite controller. And I was originally looking for a deal on a controller and I said, you know what, I'll just wait it out and I'll just wait until the Elite controller comes out. But at this price, I was like, you know, that's not a bad price at all. I'll go ahead and get it now, that's fine. So I'll just have another controller that I could play around with. So I got that, that was 22 bucks. This thing right here, this I probably could have gotten cheaper, honestly, if my friend was there, but he wasn't. Uh, but I decided, you know, I'll grab another 360 controller. This one, I'll definitely need to clean up. As you can see, this thing is nasty. And it doesn't have the back on it, but I have the backs for it as well. Uh, and this was six bucks, so I paid six for that. Uh, and then, was there any other? Oh yeah, this is what I got there, because I actually went there twice. Uh, so then I end up getting Tenchu Fatal Shadows for $5 for the PS2. The reason why I got this was because it was complete. It was in pretty good condition and everything. Funny enough, I actually checked it out. It does have the Final Fantasy 12 strategy guide, not strategy guide, the manual with it as well, too. But I liked the Tenchu series a lot when I was younger. I actually have um, Wrath of Heaven on PS2. I think that's at my parents' house, but I have it on PS2. Never got Fatal Shadows, and I looked it up. And, you know, after buying the game and paying shipping and handling, it would have cost a little bit more online. So I said, you know what, I'll pay five bucks. And also, there's times, you know, I like supporting the store as well, too. So I'm like, you know, what? I'll go ahead and get it. So I got these right here for the prices that were on the stickers, right? So uh, the funny thing is now, the price I paid for this, well, I'll just go ahead and get into the other stuff. Uh, so we got those. We'll go ahead and put those over to the side. Now what happened was I went here. I got this stuff. Then I went to the game store, got this stuff. And then my friend ended up showing up at the store. So I got all this other stuff that we're about to go into. So he hit me up and he's like, hey man, I just got in all this retro stuff. You're back in town. I need to show you this. So I said, okay, cool. First thing he shows me, uh, well, actually I spotted this. He moved a box and I see a Sega Saturn game. And I'm like, oh, 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 can I see the Sega Saturn game? He shows me and it's Nights into Dreams. I immediately grabbed it and I'm just like, I will buy this. 
I, I, it, there was no price, as you can see, there's no price on it or anything. There's, yeah, that's 48, but that's just like number 48. That's not even the price. There's no price on it or anything. The only thing is with these really obscure long box uh, cases that the Sega CD, Saturn, and the original PlayStation games used to come in, uh, these things... I mean, when they break, they, they're they pretty much broken. But aside from that, I mean, the thing is complete. It even has, you know, the uh, the thing you can mail into Sega in the back. Uh, the disc itself, it looked quite good. Uh, and it's just a little bit dirty. But aside from that, this is one of these staple games uh, in the Saturn library. And uh, now I have it because I did not have it before. So I decided to pick that up right there. Uh, then I got some other games. This one is very nasty, okay? But this is Midway Arcade's Greatest Hits. Uh, as I said, the case, disgusting. I need to clean up. None of this stuff I've cleaned up by the way I just I took it out and I'm showing you all right now uh, but yeah that's it so we got that that's thrown in I also got I got four Saturn games just so you all know I also got Midway presents arcades greatest hits the Atari collection one now I thought these might have been slight I thought these were the same just with different uh, logos and all that but no actually uh, there's different games on each one of these collections so that's why I end up getting both of them uh, just so I could have them all again all complete this one I'm disappointed because the case itself is actually broken but this is Clockwork Knight which is a bit of a pricey game I know that for sure I, I see it running for at least 20. $20, and I want to say the sequel to Clockwork Night 2 is maybe $40. Uh, even when I worked at the game store, I know it was never really a cheap game. It, it, it held its value very well. Uh, so I also picked up Clockwork Night. Uh, this is the only time I've ever seen Sega Saturn stuff at his store, so I just picked up all of it. He only had four games. I got them all. Uh, you know, no biggie on that. Then... I've actually never seen these in boxes like this before. These are in pretty poor condition, honestly. But uh, there were some Sega CD games as well, too. So uh, Final Fight, I end up getting... Final Fight CD, excuse me. End up getting this. And the cool thing is, like... It, it was all flattened and everything, but there is an actual CD case inside there. The CD looks fine. Uh, there's a manual in there as well, too. So I went ahead, I grabbed that, and this is another one he had. Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective Volume 2. Uh, I didn't even know there was a Sherlock Holmes game on the Sega CD, but check this out. So, oh, it's dusty and all, that's nasty, gross. Uh, so, we got the manual right here. I, just, I have to pull this out because I have to show you all. Check this out. This is what blew my mind, okay? You got, like, a makeshift little newspaper right here. And it, like, it legitimately, like, feels like newspaper material and all that. And it's just... I thought this was amazing. Uh, so this is another, even though it's not in the best condition, it is another complete game. Uh, there were a lot of games now. You know, most of the time, unless it's a game I really, really want, I will just buy it complete if I can. Uh, so I'm not even going to put that stuff back in there right now. But I got Sherlock Holmes on Sega CD, as I said. Uh, and then what ended up happening was he also had a bunch of cartridge-based games. Uh, so I had this, and these all came, the Nintendo games actually all came in the little uh, protective Nintendo sleeves as well too. This one's actually a little bootleg sleeve. Right here, if you all couldn't tell already, Final Fantasy. So I got that on the Nintendo, pretty happy about that. Did not have that before. Qbert, fun game. So I decided to pick that up. It actually sounds like it's kind of moot. You all hear that? Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of moving around a little bit in there. So, uh, by the way, ignore the prices. There's a reason why, as I said, a reason why I'm not sharing the prices on here. Uh, so I got Qbert. Then I got some others right here. Decided to pick this up. Dr. Mario. Yay. You know what? I like Dr. Mario. This is a really fun game. I remember last time I played it, I was in Jordan hanging out with my cousins, and we were playing it at like 3 or 4 in the morning for a few hours. Just such a fun game. Uh, and the last Nintendo game I ended up getting is Marble Madness, because I like, you know, marble games like this, or pinball games, anything like that. Like, this game seems fun. So, uh, I've played it before, but it's been a while. So, I ended up getting those games right there. As I said, they all came with the little protective sleeves and all that, so that was a nice little bonus. And then, I didn't need this at all. But I ended up getting the NES cleaning kit because, I mean, look at it. It's it, it's complete. Uh, it looks like it hasn't even been opened or anything like that or it hasn't been used, excuse me. Uh, and the only thing is, it's just it has like this like splooch on the back. Like, I don't I don't know what someone did on that. Uh, to be honest, I don't think anything really happened. Uh, but no, this is just in such good condition. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this up. Thank you. Got a text message. That's probably UPS, actually. Um, I ended up picking this up just just for the sake of having it really so that's one of those things uh and then one last cartridge game i got one last one 
right here. Uh, I end up getting Super Mario All-Stars, which is, from what I see, uh, Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3 on the Super Nintendo instead of on the regular Nintendo. And uh, it is the Lost Worlds as well, too. So the extra worlds that Japan got or uh, the director's cut, anything like that. Uh, now, I end up getting this because, as I said, I did not have it before. Uh, and the, my friend actually had like Super Mario Bros. 1 and 3. I've still never tracked down 2, at least to purchase. Uh, I already have those actually, so that's why I didn't purchase them. And I didn't really feel like buying doubles or anything. He actually had some other Super Nintendo games, but I looked at them. I almost got them, but I was like, you know, I have them already, so I, I'm good on that. Uh, so now I have all this stuff, right? So excusing this all right here, we're going to move it all. So all this stuff, right? Uh, I was kind of grabbing it, and uh, this is all the stuff that I wanted. So my friend starts looking through it. He starts piecing through everything, looking at the label. Some of it was labeled. Some of, them, some of it was priced. Some of it wasn't priced. And he looks at it all. This stuff right here, as I said. And he's just like, how does 35 sound? And I was like, wait, 35? He's like, yeah, 30, 35 for all this. I was like, throw in a Super Nintendo and you got a deal. Uh, now I'll explain that as well, too. Uh, so that's why I was one to hold off on this, because essentially, you know, as I said, just on hardware right here, um, for the game and the two controllers and the headset, I spent about just as much on this as I did on all this other stuff, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> then, as for the Super Nintendo, so I actually do have a Super Nintendo, but I don't have one of these models. This is the Super Nintendo Mini, uh, which is kind of a downgrade because it's smaller and it actually does not have RGB output on it, so you'd have to modify it back in, which I don't really plan on doing unless it's cheap enough. Um, but the thing is, I, I originally didn't really want to get this because, I mean, look at this. Uh, I, I can clean this. But I don't really want to spend the time doing it. I, I don't know if I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But it kind of looks like it's either sunbaked or somebody peed on this for two years. But they only peed on the top half. They didn't pee on the bottom half because you can't do that since you got the buttons here and the switch and everything. Uh, so this is actually a, a little more expensive, even though for Super Nintendo it's still a good price. Uh, this was about 20 bucks, or this was 20 bucks, excuse me. There was tax that was filtered into it as well. So all of this that you're looking at now was about 55. Uh, with this, I got the Super Nintendo. I got two controllers that my friend threw in. This was test and working. And this is not pictured right now, but I also got an AC adapter for it and a RF switch for it as well, too. Uh, but as you all can see, it just uses the regular Nintendo plug right there. So I could even use, you know, composite cables or anything like that will be good. Unfortunately, no RGB output. So that is that. So I also got a system in this as well. One thing I was really disappointed with with this store was that I really wanted to get a Master System. They have a lot of Master System games but they had no Master System, and I was really disappointed with that because I would have bought that in a heartbeat. The two things I would have bought in a heartbeat from that game store were a Master System and Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, which, funny story, I'll interject this here real quick. Um, I actually asked the person up front, I said, excuse me, I looked already, but your GameCube section is really messy. Uh, he was a really nice guy too, by the way, super nice, but he was just really defensive about this. And I was like, yeah, so it's kind of messy, but do you all have Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes? He's like, no. We do not have that, because if we had it, it would be mine, not yours. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, no, 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 dude, I, I'm not kidding. Like, I really, really want that game. If that game came in right now, I would immediately take it. Even if it was behind the shelf, for the record, behind games they put behind the shelf are the rare games. He was just like, you know, even if it was behind the shelf, it wouldn't stand a chance. Because I'll put it like this. I have about $4,000 in-store credit here that I need to burn off before the store closes. So... That game wouldn't stand a chance. I would still get it. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I, I got it. It's, it's your game. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and that also, ladies and gentlemen, is why with a local store or any other store like that, it's probably best to not stockpile credit like that. Because as I said, he has $4,000 in-store credit there, and he has 10 days to use it, and there's not too much he can use it on anymore. <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I actually got in this bundle as well, which I did buy, not video game related at all, is uh, this flask right here. So some of you all might be asking, why did I get a flask? First of all, I, first of all, I promise I'm not an alcoholic. And second, I don't even like alcohol. Um, and second, um, I thought of BoJack Horseman, you know, just some, some references on there when I saw it and I bust out laughing. And third, uh, one of my friends actually just bought a house uh, and I need to get him a housewarming gift. And he likes alcohol, so it's David. Uh, he likes alcohol, so I need to think of something witty to say and a good situation to give this to him. 
Uh, so that that's kind of my fault, but uh, this is totally worth it. So this got thrown in with all of that stuff. So it looks like I'm about to have a really good time tonight. Uh, the last two things as well, at least for now here, uh, if I do a part two continuation, whatever it is, I'll cut that in. Uh, but this right here. So there was this one shop that uh, had donated a lot of their games and all, or somehow my friend got all their games over at his shop. And uh, what ended up happening was, you know, they just came in like this. Like, none of them had proper cases, so they either had slip cases or they had cases like this. Uh, so this one it is Wings of War PAL Edition, Xbox. So when I saw PAL, I my, my interest immediately peaked. I was like, oh, PAL, okay, I could get an import game while I'm here, cool. Here's what I wanted to show you, and for the record, before I open these, I did not purchase these two games, okay? I did not. When I open it, you'll see why. <laughs> so I open this up right here, and I bust out laughing because doesn't that look a little, a little suspicious? Now, if it's a PAL game, why does it have an ESRB rating on it? And why doesn't it have a proper rating? And it's PAL, and it says DVD, vid, well, DVD game, and it's not Xbox, it's X game. <laughs> so for anybody wondering, yes, this is a bootleg Xbox game, which I just thought was absolutely hilarious. And I showed it to my friend. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, we get in those games sometime. You can just have it if you want to because, you know, legally he can't sell it or anything. So uh, I thought that was funny. And then even this one, I told him I wanted these just for, like, you know, humor and all that and just, you know, for the funniness and everything. Uh, this right here, this, I, I don't even know if it works because it's really scratched up. Uh, but in another Xbox game, Two-in-one Spider-Man collection. But the reason why I'm not sure what it is is because these are the Spider-Man movies. So this is normally typical of like what a, I don't know, a bootleg from like Mexico or even the Middle East would look like. Uh, but yeah, no, this thing is also super scratched up to hell and back if you could see that as well. Uh, so yeah, that's why I said these two I did not purchase because I can't purchase them. Uh, but they were, you know, thrown in. My friend was just like, you know, you can have them because we can't do anything with them. Uh, so yeah, anyways, this was the bundle of stuff that I got right here that I wanted to share with you all. All right, so what is going on, everyone? This is part two to this video. And you know, I got a bunch more stuff. I knew this is going to happen, but here's the thing. This isn't even everything, but I don't really want to wait anymore. And uh, I'm not going to be making another part to this or anything like that. So the, there's some other things that are coming in right now. I'll tell you what they are at the end of this. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and try and run through this real quick. So, you know, picking up where I left off and everything, I talked about, you know, that store I was going to is going to be closing and everything. They have closed now, unfortunately. Uh, so there was that store that I went to. And then there's, then there's also been some other things. So let me get into this because some oddities have happened. It's been about two weeks since I recorded the first part. So first off, I end up picking up Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth, uh, the Wild Cards Premium Edition, which is used. But it actually has like everything in it, like the tarot or tarot cards in there, uh, the case, the game, of course, everything in there um, in great condition. That was about... $40 or so, um, which this thing normally runs for more, but I saw it on a Amazon warehouse deal. I decided to pick it up. Uh, the game's good so far as well, too. So I like Persona 4 a lot, so I decided to pick this up. Still need to play Persona 3, though. And also with my Metal Gear Solid kick, uh, I end up picking up another Metal Gear Solid game, which is... Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes. Now, I was hoping that this store would have a copy of it, and I would have picked it up. Uh, I haven't seen this game. I actually had this game when I was younger, end up selling it because I sold the GameCube. I didn't really have an attachment to this particular copy of the game, so I sold it. I was stupid for doing it. And I'll say this, this game right now has appreciated. Like, I'm talking about this game is normally about $60. GameCube games were $50 when they came out. So if you bought this game, at launch on retail, uh, your copy probably appreciated in value. Uh, but I ended up getting this for 40 as well too, so that was online, so I got a deal on that too. Uh, splurged a little bit, but you know, I was on a big Metal Gear Solid kick, and this thing is complete as well. Like the discs are in good condition. Check this out, it even has the uh, the warning and all that stuff back there too, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then I got this controller right here. Now, this is not the controller I showed before. As you know, in the part that you just saw, uh, I ended up getting a Xbox One controller for 22 bucks. I didn't make a video about it. I wish I could have fixed it, but I couldn't fix it. The thing was 100% bricked. Uh, I looked up like five or six fixes online, couldn't do anything. So I was actually able to RMA the controller to Microsoft. And the cool thing is I had to pay shipping on my end. So I had to pay $6 shipping. So in the end, I ended up paying, you know, $28 for the controller, you know, cause I bought, bought the controller, paid for shipping. But uh, check this out. They actually sent me a whole brand new controller. Like I'm not even joking about this. It's 
all brand new controller and everything still has a seal on there and all i wanted to show you all that so honestly even a little under 30 dollars for a brand new controller is not a bad deal because here's the thing if it was going to be a lot I was going to just take this back to my friend. But then because it was only like $6 for shipping, I was like, you know what? $28 for a brand new controller is still not a bad deal at all. I'll go ahead and pay it. So I got a brand new Xbox One controller now. Don't have that other bricked one. Um, and that wasn't even his fault. I'm sure he didn't even know, honestly. Uh, but anyways, then the other stuff here. So we'll go ahead and start kind of getting into the other stuff. So I actually went to the store another time before I went there for the final day. I went there a few times. Uh, all these games right here, I got some PC games. So like disc-based and all that. But got Enter the Matrix. Uh, what is this? Uh, Luxor. Luxor. I guess you can say it like that. Adventures. Uh, Vegas 2. Max Payne 2. Got a physical copy of it now. Uh, Dungeon Siege 3. I don't even know if that will Work, honestly, if the key will work. Uh, Sacred 2 and Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. Why did I get these? Well, they were a dollar each. That's why I got them. Any game that even looked kind of interesting to me, I just picked up, honestly. So even on a Steam sale, those would be, you know, about the same price or maybe even a little bit more, whatever it is. Uh, then in addition to that, you know, over here, uh, my friend who I got, you know, the controller from and the other stuff from, I got these from him too. So this was about uh, this stack here. Uh, they would have been a lot more, but again, you know, friend of mine, I was able to get these before they were put out or anything like that. So I paid like 37 for them something like that uh but nintendo games so i got godzilla gyromite what is that defender of the crown uh monopoly yeah uh, uh, snake rattle and roll that's it i almost said skates but no that's uh snake rattle and roll pinball quest street fighter which one is this uh 2010 so okay that's a five-year-old street fighter <laughs> uh high speed the original teenage mutant ninja turtles and conflict all of them are in pretty decent condition and then i got one ps3 game as well too which this is not a brand new game it's a used best buy game that was never opened but uh ninja gaiden z, uh yeah ninja gaiden z Sig no z ninja gaiden sigma excuse me i thought that was z there so uh, ninja gaiden sigma i've actually been wanting this game on the ps3 and it's a really cheap game as well you can get it for like five bucks but he had a copy i was like you know what i've actually been wanting that i will buy that so i ended up getting that from him now we'll get on to the good stuff here right so all of this was well aside from this stuff uh, i'll move that over to the side all this is from that game store i told you was closing so this was quite a bit i, I i'll be honest i spent a decent amount on here but it's all pretty valuable stuff at the same time. So first off, one thing was I wanted to get, you can see me there a little bit in the reflection, I wanted to get a Genesis. And why do I have three of them? Well, here's the thing. This is a Sega Nomad. In case you don't know, this is an actual official Sega system. Uh, you can look it up. It's a portable Genesis, in short. Uh, it's in pretty decent condition too, and it has a rechargeable battery and everything, and it uses the same uh, charger, or excuse me, like the, uh, the AC adapter as the Genesis 2. Uh, now here's the thing. This thing is normally around 100, 120 bucks at least, like on a good day. Uh, this one I ended up paying. Uh, this was 50, honestly, um, because what happened was I ended up getting actually I, I even paid I paid less than half price for all of this stuff, uh, even though the discount should have been 40 percent store wide. Uh, but what happened was this thing was priced at. Oh, what was it? A hundred bucks. And then, you know, I paid 50 or less for it because I bought this all together. Uh, and I bought this because I want to play Genesis again. I have a Genesis over at my parents' house uh, with a Sega CD as well. But I end up getting this thing. And the cool thing is, check this out. It has AV output on it. And I think it even does RGB through AV out. And it has controller port 2 on the bottom. So there are some Genesis games that it actually doesn't work with. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but if I want to, I said, you know what? I have a portable Genesis now. I didn't even know it had a rechargeable battery. I have a portable Genesis now. If I want to, I could use it as a regular Genesis. So why do I have two other ones? Well, here's the thing. Check this out. So I was buying this. I looked at the Genesis games. These are the Genesis games I got. I got Bubsy. Never play this, actually. But I heard they were good before they went into, onto the PlayStation. And the PlayStation version killed Bubsy. So I decided to pick that up. Road Rash and Clax. Clax is actually pretty damn fun. Uh, the original Road Rash, I actually have a copy of this. Again, over at my parents' house, but I wanted to play it again, so I picked that up. Now, why did I get these two? Well, I actually got these for free. <laughs> so check this out, right? I'm actually going to be doing a video on these, which if it's not up by the time this video goes up, which it probably won't be, it'll be up later. So this is a Model 1 Sega Genesis, Model 2 Sega Genesis, Mega Drive for anybody else outside of the US uh, or outside of North America. Now, this system, like I saw these on a cart with a bunch of other random stuff. And I asked the owner, I was like, hey, uh, what's up with the Genesi right here, the Genesis systems? And he was like, oh, these are not working. They're broken. 
do you want them? And he knows I had modern repair systems. I was like, wait, are, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I'll just give them to you for free. And I even asked if he had cables for me. He's like, well, I have cables I could sell you, but I can only give you the systems for free. This system, it worked. But the problem is it only worked if you held down the power button. So I opened it up, cleaned up the power button really well. Like I had to actually open it, clean up the power button itself that was attached to the motherboard. And now the thing works fine. This one right here didn't have any power going to it. So I ripped open the system, resoldered the uh, power supply on the bottom of the motherboard, and it works fine now. It powers up and everything. And these used to be, they're not in the best condition, but one, they were free, and two, they used to be a lot worse, and I actually ended up cleaning them up, so I gave them like a nice bath and everything. This one's pretty rough, though, honestly. This one has seen better days. But I'm probably gonna keep this system because I never had a Model 1, and you know, it has some extra features and all that, like, you know, like the, uh, I think that's stereo right there, actually. I know it outputs Model in the back, I don't know if it outputs stereo to the front. So someone can verify that with me. Uh, then I got all these strategy guides right here. So I'm not a big strategy guide reader. I used to be when I didn't have the internet or anything like that. Um, but no, I ended up getting these for games that I like. The only one I got was Kingdom Hearts 2. I actually already have that, but the, the thing was so cheap. It was like two bucks. I decided to get another one. So any of these were like, most of them were $2. I think one of them was like five or something like that. But I got Resident Evil 3. Liberty City Stories, Manhunt, Chinatown Wars, Energize. I actually, I have that game. I'm so happy to track that down. I didn't get it here, though. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, Dissidia Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 5. It's, it's an okay game. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 on 58 and a half days. Ki uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. As you can see, I like my Kingdom Hearts. Yes, I like my Kingdom Hearts. Uh, so we got those. Now check this out. I thought these were pretty cool. So I end up getting two of these things right here. But uh, these are Dreamcast controllers. Like, brand new Dreamcast controllers, you guys. Brand new. Um, the only thing is, like, these are from 1999. Like, I'll even show you. I haven't even opened them up or anything. But this just blew me up my mind. And he's had these for years. The only thing is, as you can see, they are the blue logo. So whoever he bought them from, at one point they came from Europe. I know that for sure, because Europe, you guys had the blue Dreamcast. We had the orange Dreamcast. Y'all would have gotten orange, but there was something with copyright. So I ended up getting two of these things right here. Those were 10 bucks a piece after the discount, or maybe even less, as I said. Uh, he pretty much said, you know, it was originally 40% off, and I asked for a little more. I was like, hey, if I'm buying in bulk, can I get some more? He's like, Danny, don't worry about it. Have fun. Just get stuff, put it on the shelf here. We'll talk about the price later. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. Over here, I'm gonna check this out. I got some older games as well too. So Sega CD, you all might be asking, why did I get Sega CD stuff when I said it's at my parents' house? Actually, not only I have the Sega CD, but I can actually emulate it near perfectly with either an original Xbox, which I have a few modded ones, or my PC. So that works out really well. So you know I got the second Sherlock Holmes? I got the first Sherlock Holmes. I got that right there. Got Virtual Cop, because uh, I, I don't have the slip disc for this, so I end up getting that. The original Mortal Kombat, never had it complete in box. I had the game, never had the complete version, so I end up getting that. I love the long box games, honestly, the PS1 games. So I got Siberia, yep, Cy eh, Siberia, maybe? Siberia, I guess you can call that, weird. Uh, Assault Rigs and Shockwave Assault. Never played any of those three games, honestly, but I decided to pick them up. Right here, uh, more classic stuff. So I ended up getting, let's see, a Nintendo Game Genie. I don't have the book, but you can look up all the codes online. Fatal Frame 2 Director's Cut. I'm actually really excited about this right here. This for the original Xbox, obviously. Quite excited to play this. I had the first one, but I sold it when I was younger. So, damn it. Uh, scary as hell game. Uh, controversial game right here. Y you see these things, like the ESRB ratings? Yeah, this game right here is responsible for that, Night Trap. And this is the original version on the Sega CD. Uh, and this is pretty much... If you look at gameplay, uh, for my younger audience, Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the original Five Nights at Freddy's. And this is the reason why you have this right here. Uh, so then I also got more Sega CD games. So I got Silpede, played this before, not the Sega CD version, but I've played other versions of it. And Echo the Dolphin, fun game on the Genesis. Uh, then I also got some more Sega Saturn games. So I ended up getting, uh, what is this, uh, Blackfire, cheap enough, I just picked that up. Solar Eclipse, that game looked cool. And uh, this one I was actually eyeing a bit. So Bug 2, I decided to pick that up. Heard good things about the Bug series. He didn't have the first one, but hey, they had the second one. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, then right over here, we'll come over. These are Sega Master System games. 
I've actually never owned a master system, and check this out, I ended up buying a master system. Uh, so it's coming in the mail right now, I'm excited about it, never owned one, because uh, I, I end up getting a good deal on one, so I picked one up. But these games, if you're one to collect master system games, pretty good time to do it, honestly. They are so cheap, I don't know why. The system itself ranges to about $100. I got one for a decent amount less. Uh, it's about 80 or 100 bucks, something like that. These games though, all these games right here before the discount were $5 a piece. And then I paid about two bucks each for them. And these are, except for one, these are all complete in box. So that's why I ended up getting like these ones here because they're complete. And then these three, I ended up getting loose just because I actually wanted to play them, uh, which I'm going to play all of them, but these ones I wanted to play more. So as you can see, I got some good games right here. So Altered Beast, Space Harrier, and Outrun. See, the Master System had really good games. And these other ones, I got Action Fighter, Afterburner, uh, Black Belt, Chopper, uh, Choplifter, excuse me, Global Defense, Hang On Slash Safari Hunt, and Shanghai. That one I ended up just getting just because it was complete in box and it was two, three bucks. So that's why I got that. Uh, in addition to that, so I ended up going there later again. I got these games here. Now, as I said, you know, um, here's the thing with what game was it? I'm trying to look for it right now. My, uh, my Sherlock Holmes game. So pretty much this is what happened, right? I was going to show you all this. So Sherlock Holmes, this is the reason why I bought it. Forgot about this. You flip it over, it has Sega Classics. That's actually a really damn awesome collection. Look at those four games. Here's the problem, though. I only have Sherlock Holmes. So I actually went back the next day because uh, the owner said he was still going to be hanging out at the store, all that good stuff. And uh, what ended up happening was uh, I asked him about this. I was like, hey, so, because I, I wanted to get some Master System controllers. I didn't just show up there unannounced. I asked him if it was okay. He said, sure. So I brought this in, and I said, hey, uh, you only gave me one of the discs, unfortunately. If I can get the other one, it's cool. If not, no big deal, whatever. He couldn't find it. So he said, hey, you know what? How about this? Uh, how about I give you $6 in-store credit and I let you keep this? I didn't say anything, but here's the thing. I paid about half off for this. So I, as I said, less than half. But let's say I paid 5 bucks for this, right? Because you see the $10 sticker right there. He gave me 6 in credit and I kept, I kept the game. So pretty much... He gave me a dollar to take this. <laughs> but uh, with that, you know, I ended up getting, let's see the other things. I can't even find the other things here. Uh, but no, I ended up getting uh, two Master System controllers. And uh, actually, I think that was it. Yeah, no, there was something else I thought I got, but whatever. You know what? I'm probably going to get mad at myself when I figured out it was something. Oh, yeah, no, I ended up getting Shanghai. That was it. So I got Shanghai, and uh, I got these two Master System controllers, so uh, I can use them when I get my Master System. Uh, then the very last thing, there was one more store I went to. This is about a 20-minute drive away from me. They were going out of business. They have a... 50% off sale, but here's the thing, they did it so sneaky. It is a small chain of stores, and when I went there, the newest console they had was Xbox. They got rid of their three, no, no, Wii, excuse me. They got rid of their Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, PS4, and, uh, did I say Xbox One already? No, I, I didn't say Xbox One. Uh, so I know what they did. They didn't tell them, but I know what they did. And including Blu-ray, what they did was they took all of their stuff that was valuable in bulk and sent it to other stores, and they kept the stuff that was less valuable at their store. Uh, but I still end up getting some stuff for half off. So this stack was about $12 right here. But I ended up getting Tenchu 2, Birth of Stealth Assassins. Uh, I actually played the hell out of the first Tenchu on the PlayStation, never played the second one, uh, so I decided to pick this up. Then I also got uh, NES Open Tournament Golf, Ski or Die, and Skate or Die. So I ended up getting a whole bunch of Nintendo stuff. So as you can see, I had a really big opportunity here with this video and the prior part to thoroughly expand my game collection as you can see so i'm actually quite happy about it all got a few more systems got a ton more games got some good literature and all that stuff and uh, you know the cool thing is with this uh, i ended up picking up there's some more stuff I'm, i picked up which i'm not going to be showing here but i'll just tell you all real quick this is coming tomorrow i end up picking up tearaway uh the new tearaway game uh, on playstation 4 for 12 bucks now, it's a $40 game, right? I'm not advertising Best Buy, I swear. But this is why Best Buy's Gamer Club is a good deal. Uh, I end up getting, the, the game was $40. After my discount, $32. I had $20 because I buy games from there in credit, like through gift cards. So I end up getting the game for $12 before tax. Like, brand new game right there for $12. I thought that was great. Uh, and then also the Master System. I don't have it here. I'm actually really excited to get a hold of that. And I also got an EverDrive as well because now I have three Genesis systems here. So I got 
on EverDrive so I can load it up with stuff because it can actually play 32x games, which uh, I need a 32x for, I'm assuming. Uh, Sega Master System games, it actually plays Master System games, and of course, Genesis ROMs. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. I got to clean up all this stuff now, but uh, thank you for bearing through this extremely long video if you made it to the end. Let me know what you think of this type of stuff too, because uh, this is pretty fun to do, but this is kind of a rarity thing. I swear this isn't a humble brag or anything like that. No, it's like, I, I like videos like this. I haven't done any video like this in a while, and this is just one of those weird times where in a short amount of time, I got a lot of really kick-ass gaming stuff and I want to share with you all. Anyways, signing off for real this time. Later, everyone.